Hey there folks, these are the hands of me, Dan Brown, from Sort of Interesting, and this, da 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 is the Evernote Smart Notebook by Moleskin. And, well, first of all, if you're not aware, Evernote is a sort of organisation, uh, reminders, uh, just a sort of huge task management app. Uh, obviously, it's like uh, your usual apps for iPad and Android and phones and all the rest of it, as well as PC and Mac versions, and, well, you can use it in your browser and all the rest of it, and so... Stuff that you do in the app on one thing all syncs up and so the next time you look at your computer it's all like synced up to whatever you've changed and well just what you'd imagine. And basically um, the Moleskine notebook here has a few little bits and pieces that help tie in with the Evernote system. And well we'll worry about the Evernote app in another video when I show you this in proper use. But this is just a quick look at the Evernote uh, Smart Notebook by Moleskine. We'll give it some size comparisons. Uh, first of all, this is the miniature, uh, the little Volant notebook. And this is the classic sort of Moleskine pocket notebook. And well, as you can see, this is basically the same size as the standard large Moleskine. And well, I suppose really, we want to have ourselves a, a quick dive in and have a look. So got various bits of information about Evernote and the Moleskine book here. And well, it's pretty much what you would imagine. Uh, something that you might, uh, hopefully I think you can see on the camera, is that it's got, instead of just a plain cover, it's got all sort of, I don't know, glossy, um, slightly raised or dimpled, depending on how you want to look at it, um, images that are all sort of the classic Evernote imagery on the front cover there. So let's dive in. And this is the awkward part of finding that first um, way to cut into the book. So we've managed to make our first cut into the corner in the usual way of how difficult these things are to first um, get the wrapping off. But well, that's been run over by comedians since the mid 90s. So here we have it. And well, hopefully there you can see much better what I'm talking about all the little images on the front. If we pull the little clasp away. Take the little bit of packaging off, and well, there we have it. We'll just have ourselves a nice little 360 uh, view of this out of the packet, and it is pretty much exactly what you would expect. Um, if we pop it open, you will see we have got squared um, pages, and these are basically uh, the Evernote notebooks from Moleskine come in either lined or squared uh, paper and I traditionally prefer to write on plain paper so squared is sort of the medium between lined and plain in my book. I know there are more lines on it but we'll deal with that. Now you'll see at the back here there's a little bit more than you may be used to seeing in the back of a Moleskine. You've obviously got your pocket as usual but this um, notebook also comes with a three month um, premium subscription to Evernote which adds a few extra features to the standard free version and well if we open this here you'll see we've got these uh, rather brightly coloured sheets as well as your classic history of Moleskine uh, insert and this is a series of stickers which you can use to tag the pages of the notebook to like mark it as this is about I don't know for example me this is the notes for YouTube this is notes for writing and all the rest of it but, basically, Evernote has this feature where you can take a photo of a page. So, say I've got various bits of writing and stuff here. I could then stick some of these stickers onto it. So, like, say I've been writing about YouTube or putting down some quick ideas for a story or something like that. I would have these set up in Evernote to be tagged as different categories or notebooks. So that when I stuck one on here took a photo with my uh, phone or iPad, so that this um, automatically went into the Evernote app. It would then instantly put it in a certain notebook, put it in a certain category, tag it as like, this is YouTube, this is whatever. And so then obviously instantly your notebook has just become searchable and that page is automatically categorised and filed away in the correct place that you'd want it. With you literally not having to do anything other than take the picture and have the sticker on the sheet. And something else that's quite an interesting idea, whether it'll work or not, and particularly with my handwriting, if I just show you my, well, as I always like to wheel out my little boat book, my handwriting isn't the neatest, and certainly not um, the most sort of perfect demonstration, so I'm not expecting great results, 
But they claim that you can search your handwriting. And I'm sure if I write in block capital letters or have big titles, so maybe if I'm thinking of uh, using this with Evernote, I can give like the heading like a certain word or something. Like if there's a story name or something like that, I can write that in like big capital letters to enhance its chance of um, guessing when I type into Evernote, like search notes and type like story name, for example then it claims that they will be able to recognise your handwriting and find that note specifically referring to that search term. So we shall see how it goes. I will have a play around with this and then I'll show you how I use it and how it all ties in with Evernote. And we shall see whether this is as good as it claims to be. I mean, I, well, you know me and notebooks, I absolutely love them. And this is a, certainly an excellent little novelty to have. But if that novelty proves to be a useful tool, which... It's certainly, well, using the stickers, it's certainly going to be. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing the results. So stay tuned for more on Evernote and notebooks and organisers and Moleskine and Filofax and all the rest of it. Make sure you like the Facebook page. Feel free to follow me on Twitter or add me personal account on Facebook. It's all good. And well, until the next time, have a great day and well, I'll see you around soon. Farewell.